Hello teammates, my name is Colonel Dave Woodruff, the commander of the 181st Infantry Brigade. And it's only fitting on the occasion of Martin Luther King holiday, I'd like to share with you my favorite quote from Dr. King. Our lives begin to end the day we become silent about the things that matter. Uh, teammates, that's one of my favorite quotes, uh, one of the things that we need to look at across our formations and build trust both in our formations and our leadership and our teammates to our left and right. So it's important that we all take time to reflect on this great day. Thanks for everything you do. Go Eagles. I accept this award today with an abiding faith in America and with an audacious faith in the future of mankind. I refuse to accept despair as the final response to the ambiguities of history. I refuse to accept the idea that the isness of man's present nature makes him morally incapable of reaching up for the eternal oughtness that forever confronts him. I refuse to accept the idea that man is mere floatsam and jetsam in the river of life, unable to influence the events which surround him. I refuse to accept the view that mankind is so tragically bound to the starless midnight of racism and war, and that the bright daybreak of peace and brotherhood can never become a reality. I refuse to accept the cynical notion that nation after nation must spiral into a militaristic stairway into the hell of thermonuclear destruction. I believe that unarmed truth and unconditional love will be the final word in reality. This is why temporarily defeated is stronger than evil triumphant. I believe that even amid today's mortar burst and winding bullets, there is still hope for a brighter tomorrow. I believe that wounded justice, lying prostrate on the blood flowing streets of our nation, can be lifted up from this dust of shame to reign supreme among the children of men. I have the audacity to believe that peoples everywhere can have three meals a day for their bodies, education and culture for their minds, and dignity, equality, and freedom for their spirits. I believe that what self-centered men have torn down, men other-centered can build up. I still believe that one day, mankind will bow before the altars of God and be crowned triumphant over war and bloodshed and nonviolent redemptive good will proclaim the rule of the land. And the lion and the lamb shall lay down together, and every man shall sit on his own vine and fig tree, and none shall be afraid. I still believe that we shall overcome. This faith can give us the courage to face the uncertainties of the future. It will give our tired feet new strength as we continue our forward stride toward the city of freedom. When our days become dreary with low hovering clouds and our nights become darker than a thousand midnights, we will know that we are living in a creative turmoil of a genuine civilization struggling to be born. So you honor the dedicated pilots of our struggle who have sat at the controls as the freedom movement soared into orbit. You honor, once again, Chief Latuli of South Africa, whose struggles with and for his people are still met with the most brutal expression of man's inhumanity to man. You honor the ground crew without whose labor and sacrifices the jet flights to freedom could have never left the earth. Most of these people will never make the headline and their names will not appear in who's who. Yet when years have rolled past and the blazing light of truth is focused on this marvelous age in which we live, men and women will know and children will be taught that we have a finer land, a better people, and a more noble civilization because these humble children of God were willing to suffer for righteousness sake. I think Alfred Nobel would know what I mean when I say I accept this award in the spirit of the curator, this precious heirloom which he holds in trust for his true owners and all those whom beauty is truth and truth beauty and in whose eyes the beauty of genuine brotherhood and peace is more precious than diamonds, silver, or gold. Hello team, I'm Command Sergeant Major Morehouse, 21 Infantry Brigade, Command Sergeant Major. Hey, I want to tell everybody to have a safe and wonderful Dr. Martin Luther King holiday. And remember, the most persistent and urgent
question is, what are we doing for others? People matter.